Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm just going to jump right into it because I literally filmed an intro to this yesterday. Showed you all the products and everything. And it was, it, I just can't use it. I just can't. So I'm just going to show you real quick and then we'll get through it. If you don't know what Ipsy Shopper is, I think you can use it even if you're not signed up to like receive a subscription. Ipsy Shopper is on the Ipsy app and they have daily deals of really discounted stuff. Like right now they have a $180 Betty Boop collector set for $40. A Ipsy Boss Babe set which comes with lashes. I think a lip balm, a liquid liner, uh, a balm lip stain, some kind of hair thing, and some hair ties for $14.50. Value is like $55. They have a microdermabrasion set, really cheap, and some other things. And look at these Viseart palettes. These are two Viseart Theory palette duos for $30. I got this and I thought I was going to be filming it in time for it to still be on the website. It is not. But for $15, I got the Violet Voss Fun Sized Fruit Sorbet Eyeshadow Palette. And look how cute it is. And look at these colors. It has a little mirror. Look at those colors. Oh. I swatched them all in that video, or in the first intro. I'm not gonna, this topper shade, oh, I'm not gonna ah, swatch them all now, but I'll swatch a few. And I love Violet Voss's um, formula. Look at that yellow. I got a, Violet Voss palette in my Boxy Charm, which in September's Boxy Charm, which I will leave linked up here. I did um, a video on it, trying it out, and I absolutely love it. I haven't stopped using it. My next video will be me filming why I canceled Boxy Charm. I did cancel my Boxy Charm this month. I will only be getting Ipsy, which. Oh well. Okay, so I got the palette. I got this Moroccan Magic Argan Essential Oil Lip Balm in Rose. And it is what I have on my lips now. It is very, very hydrating. And even though it's a balm, it has oils in it. So it feels like a lip oil. I absolutely love it. And the rose scent is in there, but it does not transfer to the lips. I got a Mary Duminizer, which is the liquid Mary Luminizer. It's just a little sample, but there is a lot in here. And it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. I don't know how it's going to do on top of powder, but we'll see. I got a sample of the Young Blood Mineral Primer, naturally rich in nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. It is just a gel silicone like primer, but it does not leave that residue on your skin. Like when I tried it on my hand, it blurred the lines in my hand and it sunk in like that. The last thing I got is the Pixie by Petra Lash Lift 188, which is the double mascara. So you have the main wand and then inside the main wand, you have the baby wand. So there is a difference, which would be for the lower lash line. I'm sure you could use it for the top. I don't know, we're gonna try it out today. I'm super excited about this. So I got five things for $15. This eyeshadow palette alone is 15. I'm pretty sure this Pixie Mascara is like 17 or 20 bucks, so pretty freaking awesome. Let's ignore the hair. It's not working with me today. My scrunchie is hidden underneath my freaking whale bun, whatever you want to call it. It's hideous. 
Life is over. Okay. My eyes are primed with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I didn't realize it at first. But when I use like really bright colors like this, I usually like to use the ColourPop in Fair Zero Zero, which is the white concealer. I just feel like it makes it pop. And I love it. Okay. Start with the eyes, as always. So, let me zoom you in. Is that good enough? That seems good enough. Is that good enough? I'll come closer if I have to. I feel like I have a shitty camera, so. Oh, longest intro in the world. Sorry. Um, don't forget there is a giveaway going on right now. I will link the video in the eye up here. And I will link it at the end of the video. You can check out some of my other ones. And I will have that one linked right beside my face somewhere. And it's my trying new BH makeup that's new to me. And I tried the Tina Young palette and the new BH mascara, which I have not stopped using either of those since I've tried it. And there is a really good giveaway going on in that. A BH palette, a Tarte mascara, um, a Bite Beauty lipstick, and something else. I think a lipstick? I don't know. I can't remember. No, I already said lipstick. No. Oh, a brush set. So, I have the stuff right here. In the giveaway, the, the Bite Amuse Bouche, Bouche Lipstick in Rhubarb. It's just a little sample. A Deluxe Size Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara. The BH Summer Lovin' 16 Color Shadow Palette. This looks beautiful. And a BH Cosmetics 4 Piece Eye Brush Set. Has a blending brush, a shading brush, some other kind of brush, and some other kind of brush. It'll all be in that video. And it just looks so good. Like, I want to keep it for myself, but then again, I have those colors, so I'm not going to... Okay, so when looking at this palette, I am like, look at this cream, this peachy, light, light cream, peach color. Oh, I'm immediately drawn like this, that burgundy, that orange, that pink, and this topper. Oh, okay. This sparkly black gray shade is so pretty. Like. It is so pretty. It's like a gray, but it's very pigmented. Um, uh, my eyebrow itches and I don't want to ruin them. If you have an eyebrow itch and you don't want to ruin your brows, just use an eyebrow brush or a eyeshadow brush. It kind of fluffs them up. But I have an itchy. Okay, do you ever just keep going with your eyebrows and then you ruin them? Me, every time. Okay, I promise I will not make this a four hour video like my last one. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. simple I'll do some more looks with this palette if that's something you'd be interested in like playing with the fun blue and green I'm gonna take that cream shade on here and just kind of use that it's literally my skin tone this is gonna be such a good shade just to set a cut with Oh, it's going to be so good. I could probably use this as setting powder. It is literally like my perfect skin tone. Okay. Now I'm going to take the pink right here. Very pretty. It's like a bubblegum pink. So pretty. I'm going to take it on the same brush. Good pigment. 
and I'm going to start it on the outer portion of my eye, laying down the most pigment right here, and then bring it in as there's less and less. That's just how I like to do my eyeshadow because I have hooded eyes and like weird eyes. I like to keep most of the pigment on this outer part and less inside so it makes my eyes look... I, that's just what I like. Ooh, this is pigmented. Buff it out. TV in the background. My cat just opened the door. Okay. Now I'm going to take. I'm going to take this JH33 brush and dip into this purpley plum color. Oh, it's so pretty. Whoa. And I'm gonna. Stick this lower, but because of my eye shape, I do have to go above a little bit. And I'm going to start blending it out right here first and then move in. and then I'll look down and I'll look up and see where I want to place it. Because it'll start to look muddy. Like that's good right there. That is such a pretty color. more hooded so I have to be more careful it's a lot more saggy I should say Okay, so that's how I want that. I'm going to take the same little JH brush and I'm going to mix that plum shade and the red shade. And I'm going to put that right here. to stamp it then I'm going to take a smaller brush to that fits right in my crease to blend it into the crease a little bit Okay, that's about where I want it. And now... I'm going to take... Let me see if I have a concealer near me. Uh, 
don't think I have a pencil. Okay, yeah, I do. I have this one that I have never used. I have not used this yet. I've been saving it for a video, so I'll just use it real quick to cut my crease. And I will not tell you what it is. So it'll still be a surprise, but using it on your eyes is way different than using it under your eyes. So I'm just going to white cut crease and I am immediately going to I lost my brush oh, okay I'm immediately going to take that cream shade that we used first and go over it It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Now I'm going to take that deep shade again and very lightly blend This is a very fall look. Okay, now I'm gonna take that topper shade and The eyes are done. Actually, I think I want to take some of this shimmery gray black shade, just a little bit of it. And we're gonna really close to the outer portion. takes me so long with my eyes I just start playing and then I can't stop but this is what we're working with 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up under my eyes and then I will be right back to um, try the primer out. Well, I can go ahead and put the primer on now and then clean up under my eyes. Because um, I don't have any fall. It's only right here where I need to clean up. That's it. There's no fallout from these palettes. And it is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's try this primer. And I'm going to use it how I would any pore filling primer. I'm going to put this on and then spray with my Smashbox primer water. So yeah, as you can see, it's just a clear gel. So I'm going to put some on my finger. And then I am going to warm it up between these two. Let me look at my pores before. Okay, I can see them. I did already have an oil on, but that was it. And this is where I'm going to focus it. It is so smooth and so silky. That's broken. Okay. Let me try a little bit more. I'm gonna try to tap it. In. Yeah, there we go. You, it was under the eyes. That is very. That is very, very blurring. Okay, so I'm going to go clean up and put on my base. Okay, so I'm back. I have the rest of my makeup on, except for what we have left to try. It looks crazy because of no mascara, but look how pretty this eye look is. The rest of the makeup I have on, I have on my healthy foundation. I forgot why I ever stopped using this. I freaking love it. I have on my Tarte Nude Eyeliner Fake Awake. I have on the CoverGirl Outlast Concealer, my Believe Beauty Setting Powder, Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer, this Ofra Highlight which ties in with the eyes so beautifully and I used it on my inner quarter and brow bone too and to do my little thing. And the ColourPop Shortcake Pressed Blush from the strawberry collection I think it tied in good with the fall look and I was terrified to use this over powder so I did it under my foundation and I absolutely loved it and I'm going to love this on a no makeup makeup day so in that video yesterday when I tried to film this first I showed y'all a little haul that I did from ColourPop I have this skin tint and the lashes coming in a separate order because something happened. It said they were sold out, but they really weren't. So I'm waiting to get those until I try this. I do have the brand new Pretty Fresh Primer and Setting Spray. Look how beautiful. That's the spray. And the primer is right here. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Primer and Spray and their little sponge which I got dirty yesterday. I have not tried any of these yet and I cannot wait. I want to try it with the skin tint though. But one thing I can try is what Kathy White recommended and I am so excited. Look at this. Do you see that? Look how pretty that is. This is the Glisten Up Mist. She said if you want dewy this is motherfucking Dewey. 
and I want Dewey. I have not used this yet. I'm so excited. So I wanted to do it before my mascara. I'm going to give it a... Oh, that spray. Okay, here we go. That was probably too much, but oh well. It has a very, very light orange scent. Just use this to soak in. I just wear concealer, but I love that foundation. Now I'm going to go in and gently, yeah buddy, hold on. And gently press and now I'm going to look. Oh my God. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have so many breakouts from something right now, but I don't care. Oh my god. That just might replace my Pixie Glow Mist, which I love. which happens even if I don't wear makeup. I have cakiness there. It just happens just in the crease of my nose. So what I'll do is use my setting spray I'm using, spray the tip of the sponge, squeeze it till it's like not leaky, and just tap it in there and it clears it right up. I love this freaking spray. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to finish up the lower lash line real quick so we can do the mascara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to pinch it and go back into that bubblegum pink. and connect it. <laughs> I could use a regular small eye brush, but This is how I like to do it, but I am going to take a small eye brush and go into that deep plum shade just on the tip of it and just try to get it on the outer. take a flat definer brush and try to get it and yeah so that is it for the eye look just a little sparkly fall eye look so let's curl the lashes
Okay, so this is the like two and a half coats. And in the first unboxing I did, where I showed the wand and stuff, I said these are not the type of wands I usually like. I love this. Let's do the lower lashes real quick with the baby wand. It looks like the Maybelline Lash Discovery wand. Okay, so the Maybelline Lash Discovery Wand is the exact same, but that is a thinner formula, and it does not run on my eyes. This is a thicker formula, and for someone who doesn't really wear lower lash mascara that often and doesn't really like it, it's a little too thick for me. The top lashes, I absolutely love. Look at that. Looks like I'm wearing wispy falsies. Okay. So I have a few lip options. I have my lip liners. I want to wear, I don't want to wear a nude lip. I want to wear a fall lip. So I have this from the spring collection with ColourPop. It's called Moody Bloom. I think it'll go good with the eyes and maybe with like, um, I lost the lid. Oh, maybe with like, what's your sign in the middle or something. That's my typical go-to. I also have my Joa lipstick in Babe, which is a nudie pink. Does anyone, okay, does anyone own these Joa lipsticks? If you do, my favorite shade is Honey. But... Do you know that this little top lid part with the color pops off and there's more lipstick in there? Is that not awesome? So it's like you're paying the price for two things, which is awesome because these are very inexpensive. Okay, I have the Ofra lipstick in Havana Nights, which I think would look awesome. This is like my only chance to wear vampy lips is when I'm filming videos. And this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Hutch. And I think that's a little too purpley. Let me line my lips real quick. ColourPop. Okay, do we think that that is too much? Do we? I can never put bullet lipsticks on evenly, like ever. It just does not happen. I think I kind of want to put some of Babe in the middle. Kind of make it more mauve than, um, purpley. I kind of am regretting this and kind of wish I went with a nude. Okay, 
Okay, that looks better. That looks better. A little bit. Does anyone else ever try something outside of their comfort zone and then immediately regret it even though you should like kind of just try it and go with it because that is me like I want to wear these colors so bad but then as soon as I put them on I regret them I'm so sorry I cannot make a shorter video than two hours I just can't do it because I suck at this job it's not really a job, it's a hobby. I oh, suck at this hobby. It is blueberry. No, that, yeah, that's berry. Um, blueberry? I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do anything. But, yeah. This is the finished look using what I got in Ipsy Shopper. I am going to change my uneven lip. That is the finished look. So, this is everything that came in my Ipsy Shopper. So, I am super excited about this eyeshadow palette, this mascara, this on no makeup, makeup days, this mineral primer. I actually love it for right around the pore areas. Did not accentuate my Sahara Desert dry skin. Love it. This lip balm, I love. For $15, this is amazing. So amazing. And I got the spoiler for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and I told myself I wasn't gonna look at it this month but I couldn't help myself and I'm so excited. So excited. Anyway, that is all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you would like to. And don't forget to watch the video linked in the eye for the giveaway going on. And